Well, hello. Hello, hello. Dear beautiful souls, allies, families, designed for my highest good. Salutations of respect and reverence. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Grace. On a journey. And you are listening to Angelic Healing Express. A sincere welcome to the newcomers and my fellow traveler allies. Gracefully extending love light, hope, and a plethora of new incoming memories. In balance and truth, you are appreciated. Know that you are cherished and know that you are loved. Thank you for your reciprocation in investing your love, your truth, your loyalty, your divinely led vigilant protection, your monetary donations, your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your kindness, and your present of attendance. This is a safe place, offering a warm welcome to family. God is inviting you to trust his divine plan. God is grateful for the care that you are giving yourself at this time. Connect with the wisdom that you are aligned with. You are aligning your energy system with God and the cosmos. Inviting elevated vibrations. Activate your higher selves. Dream big. Epically master your growth and development. God approves of your efforts in increasing your self-love, self-awareness, and self-realization. You are on a divinely guided path. God applauds you for giving yourself the love and credit you deserve. My community service to my sacred soul family are aligned with my offerings to God. This is a virtual classroom, offers lessons of enlightenment and empowerment through the frequency of love. Disclaimer, I am not for everyone. God has aligned me with my sacred tribe. We are destined to thrive. Summons your free will and intuition and be selectively guided. Move forward unapologetically. Detach from triggering people, places, Things and multi dimensional energies that are not in alignment with your free will and your highest good. Heal and implement your internally given truths in your decisions. Negativity that attempts to invade the sacred space. I banish you with the light of my grace. You have no hold or power here, for I stand and face you with no fear. Any agent of karmic assignment that refuses to flee, past, present, future, all realms and dimension, and all space and time, will be under my governance and dominion. Be gone. I am sovereign forevermore. He say vigilantly praying and manifesting that all illusions of the enemy be revealed.
And so now, I'm going to share some Archangel messages with you. First one, Chakra Clearing. Archangel Metatron, call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred geometric shapes. Archangel Metatron, I call upon you to clear and open my chakras using sacred geometric shapes. Outdoors, Archangel Jophiel, go inside. <laughs> it says go outside, but I said go inside. So that's telling me there's need for more meditation, right? And then there's need for us to go outside. Balance is the fruit of the universe. Go outside, get some fresh air, and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. Archangel Jophio, assist me on grounding myself. When I am outdoors, so I can appropriately connect with nature and gain new understanding and guidance. Take back your power. Archangel Brazil, use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. Counselor, Archangel Azrael, you are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. Archangel Azrael, thank you for confirming that I am a natural counselor and that Noting that many people benefit from the guidance and reassurance that I share. Now, when it comes to take back your power, I also would like to share an affirmation for that. Archangel Raziel, please assist me to use remember and reclaim all my God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in my life. What I just shared with you is one of the ways that you can be in a higher vibration confirmation when doing divination. As I've shared before, balance is the fruit of the universe. So, whenever you engage in an activity, 
be present. And meditate on how can this benefit you in the walk, in the path that you chose. Because if you take the next right step, it assists you in your growth. And so although many times we do cards, we want information. We want insight as well. I, for example, enjoy receiving confirmation because I know what I already know. And what you tell me about me is not going to influence me in any way because I know what I already know. But when I hear it mentioned again, it confirms it. This also is a form of meditation. Ignorance is what gets in the way when it comes to being open-minded. And that causes us to sometimes not benefit from what would be very useful, therapeutic, and affirming in our lives. So I also want to share about chakra clearing. Please assist me. with receiving a confirmation for chakra clearing. All tied up. Some of you feel all tied up. And so you are being guided to do some exercises in relation to chakra clearing because it will benefit you okay and the angel message for that you are being guided by ascended masters at this time trust that the path you are on is perfect for your current situation so trust and believe not only are you being guided by your archangels but also your ascended masters stand in solidarity. Okay? Now about outdoors, what confirmation? Hmm? Deceit. Confirmation. Something in relation to outdoors is in the energy of deceit. The thinking woman, hostilities. Woman holding a heart. Door to personal healing and happiness. Door to spirit. So, how I am interpreting this. Out of your circles, because at this time, if you have arrived at a point of ascension you've already detached yourself from people places and things and energies that are not in alignment with the divine plan your divine plan 
So there are others that are not in your circle as well. That are in deceit. Hmm. I see woman holding a coin. What else is there? Strategy. Archangel Raphael, fourth chakra. So, in relation to your heart. So, this is telling me the strategy that this woman will use is to tug at your heart. Try to make you feel sorry for them. Right? Share about financial constraints then it says Archangel Uriel 7th chakra they want access to the downloads you receive and the eligibility you have in regards to door to spirit Okay, so as far as take back your power, hostilities, because you've reclaimed your power, you've reclaimed your energy, you've reclaimed your creativity, and so forth. And they were energy harvesting off of you. So obviously, they are in the energy of decrease. Because once you detached yourself from them, they didn't have you any longer to feed. <laughs> so they are very much hostile at this time because you've assessed door, you've accessed a door to personal healing and happiness because you have a happy family. Because you are at the garden and the gate. What else? The sun is shining light. And your heart chakra is open and healed. Even after the strategies. Counselor. Some of you are called to be counselors. This is not something I am bringing to your attention. This is something I am confirming. Contract. Right? Chances are, if you are called to be a spiritual teacher among many other things in that sector, counseling is very favorable as far as your assignments go. So you already have a contract. It was predestined. So no weapon formed against you shall prosper because God has the final word. Abundance is my birthright. God has clarified it. He has clarified it is safe for me to receive monetary love donations because I use my money as a tool to better the universe. All donations made with low vibrational intentions or futuristic negative projections have already been blocked, denied, rejected and repelled all evil eyes gone blind I am strong in who I am and I know who I am so lies gossip and slander is disabled from impacting me I am strong in who I am and I know who I am so lies Gossip and slander is disabled from impacting me. I am strong in who I am. 
and I know who I am. So lies, gossip, and slander is disabled from impacting me. I say. I am connected to the all and all that forever will be. The angels of the four directions also protect me. Earth keeps me grounded. Air carries my channeled messages. Fire melts away old programming and everything that no longer serves me. Water flows to me with waves of cleansing energy, protection, and intu intuition. Into intuition. That's what I said. There's a hidden meaning there. So I dive deep when it comes to intuition. Also, if someone says, I'm into intuition, you're into your spiritual self. You're into self-awareness. You're into connecting with the universe. Spirit enlightens me and offers unlimited guidance for my highest good and established divine restraining orders has been issued. Failure to observe this decree automatically manifests universal enforced charges with eternal fees. Archangel Michael I call judgment on all involved in persecuting me. I love known and unknown. Let me repeat that. Archangel Michael, I call judgment on all involved in persecuting me and anything I love, known and unknown, confirmation. I want to interject because I don't believe anything happens for without I don't believe anything happens without a purpose. And as I was reading this, I said, I love. And this morning in meditation, I made that observation. My guides gave me some downloads and offered me a new way in order for me to see the bigger picture. In my truth, in my studies, in my experience, I know when someone is undiagnosed, there are many among us that are undiagnosed because we were not tested as kids. 
some adults learn that they have ADD. And they didn't know that all of their life. They never knew they had it. They made it through. They have degrees. All right? I'm also aware of others that went through life not knowing that they were autistic. And there are many other ways you could be undiagnosed. Some of you have been depressed from your earlier years, right? And the reason why I was able to overcome what I overcame in my life It was by God's grace. That is why I overcome. I don't claim God's grace. In the sense I don't claim God's I'm trying to find the right way To express this But if God did something for me Let's put it that way Because he has <laughs> The fact that God has done Incredible things in my life Miracles in my life. I don't take credit for that. I acknowledge. But God. And so. When this was. Brought to my attention. In meditation. I was like. Well if someone is autistic. That explains a lot. Undiagnosed. If someone has developmental issues, that explains a lot. Undiagnosed. If someone has a mild form of retardation, that explains a lot undiagnosed. So as a teacher, you are aware of a curve. That relates to your professional How should I put this? The word I was looking for is understanding. I cannot expect the same behavior from someone that is That did the work. I'll go with that. That did the work. Went to therapy. Did years of journaling. Introspection. Support groups. When you activate your higher self. Your achievement, your energy will be on point. But when you do not work on yourself, it's as if you're 
straggling along like you can't even stand straight you're just surviving which then leads to codependent behaviors and so when this was brought to me in meditation I was like okay it's easier to forgive that way in the truth because I say how I feel and I mean what I say Again, it's easier to forgive when acknowledging that the individual has, and you heard that confirmation, has some type of limitation. Now, this could be Related to spirituality as well. If they were raised by those who are low vibrational and trying to find the right word devoted to spiritual practices that causes The word I want starts with a D. Okay, the word I want starts with an R. <laughs> Regression. You see, sometimes I gotta jog my brain and because when I'm expressing myself, I choose my words wisely because I want what I'm saying to be understood. Confirmation. That is what gets a lot of people in trouble when they don't think before they talk. Right? Say what you mean. Only say what you mean and mean what you say. That's when your word is bond. You gain the trust of others. Some of you don't feel that others regard you as trustworthy. And that is the explanation why. Because your word is not bond. So what you need to defeat is not the people that follow their intuition and that are in their wise mind. What you need to target is the parts of you that you wish not to see. You need to do your shadow work. Let me tell you today's title. Time waits for no one. So for lack of a better way of saying it. 
If you're not going to work on developing yourself, In a positive way. I'm not even saying in a way for you to reach your highest potential. I'm not even going to raise that the bar that high. But in a positive way. Because when you're positive, you attract positivity. So if you're not ready to do that. The consequences fall as they fall. And it touches the heart. It does touch the heart when you realize that some people have information right in front of them. And I want to state as well. I want you to do what you want to do. You are not obligated to first of all observe my programming. You are not obligated to take heed to the messages I receive because I maintain that everyone should have their free will. My connection with you now is just destined I'm being led to tell you that a lot of what's going on today in communities all over the place, especially in relation to those that were elected Read the book of Enoch. I'm so for real. In fact, as I say that to you, I see someone with a pillow and they're like squeezing the pillow because I don't want to say it's disturbing, but it is a reality check. Of the days that we are living in. It will enable you to connect the dots. It will enable to see your shortcomings. It will enable you to see if you're on the right path or the wrong path. Because judgment. It deserves a moment of silence. A lot of truth is revealed. Those that were in opposition with those that were just in position for what God asked them to do. The book of Enoch (sighs) It shares About the condemnation That is ahead. 
when God has already established a plan and you interject see some things you need to have respect for we all make mistakes people I know that all of this is complicated because when I see the bigger picture I understand that there are people at certain developmental stages I understand that but I also understand divine order and with sin comes death I almost hyperventilated when I saw the consequences in relation to those in the energy of persecution towards who God chose. You may not agree with the sentence, but you will be at the mercy. Read the book. Don't take my word for it. You will be at the mercy of those who you persecuted. Real talk. This is not fear mongering. This is facts. One of the reasons why they wanted to keep this hidden. It would be too much clarity. And also, what I learned is that there are those among us that are descendants of fallen angels. That is because There was a time that some angels engaged in sexual activity and Either they are in the energy of Goliath in presence, I mean looking like a giant, or else gifted like a Goliath, right? But God is very upset. Regarding loyalty, because the angels, some of the angels, some of the angels got too close for comfort with the women. They shared secrets 
that were not made available and were not to be accessible by human beings. These secrets were passed down generation to generation. It produced sorcerers and warlocks and others that are attracted to the dark side. And God does not like the fact that these angels did not stay in compliance. They were not sent here to go have sex with females and so forth. But they were attracted to that life. Did you know that angels can be under judgment? You see why you need to read the book of Enoch? Judgment was called upon them. With a fate that you don't even want to dwell on. This is how terrifying the consequences are. When you betray God, when you betray God's people, when you elect yourself as God, I know that I am powerful. I know that I have a support system that has no fault but I also know I'm not ready for that kind of judgment again this is a reality check this is you meditating on what stage you are in your life right now and what's ahead because there was time for fun there was time for play there was time for ego There's a, there was time for Cheating, stealing, framing, defaming, and so forth. There is a time for everything. Even judgment. And I guarantee you. One of the references of a friend that I had that passed, passed away. who just so happened to be Jamaican and she used to like to say you can't box with God and I was like what? <laughs> because that's not you know what I'm accustomed to and she means like she meant like you can't fight God like you're 
arms are too short to box God. But she said it, you know, in their accent and so forth. And I can't recall. Keisha, I say your name. Beautiful girl. Inside and out. Gone too soon. By a brain aneurysm. Everybody has their own fate. But I just want you to take time to ground yourself. Because a lot, confirmation, a lot of us have had our head in the clouds for too long. It's time to come back to reality. The fantasy will not save you. From the atrocity that is ahead of you. I don't even... Feel the need to say prepare yourself because you can't prepare yourself. In fact, if you are not emotionally stable, if you are already triggered by this message, pray about it. <laughs> Before you read the book. Confirmation. Before you read the book of Enoch. And whether you plan to read it or not. Again. Pray about it. God help me to understand. What I'm about to read. Help me to see the bigger picture. Help me to see. The hidden gems. Help me to be respectful. Help me to learn the lessons that are being shared. To embrace the prophecy. And those of you that don't want to embrace it due to where you find yourself energetically. Since you are investing so much time in having people read cards for you, that's a free avenue to know what's up. So again, this explains why I'm able to go on with my life and be happy because what can I do to you that is already planned for you understand that concept have to take a deep breath and exhale and I'm glad I was guided to read that book let's all do better I understand a lot of you had faulty teachers that hid a lot of information from you confirmation I also want you to know 
I'm going to read a note that I prepared to share. I am a gift to this world. I am doing for you what a number of you wouldn't do for me. Teaching what I know spiritually. The lesson here is in my obedience to God. This generation is stronger. It's stronger than confirmation, than your attempted oppression. It's stronger than your death spells. It's stronger than the vows that you've made. To persecute me. Until the last of my days. I'm aware of those vows. The book of Enoch is aware of those vows. The book of Enoch shares. About these dark angels. Engaging. In sex addiction. Oh yes, everything that is going on. Was already written. Action. Is just the prophecy. Reaction. It's just your faith. When you go to listen to a spiritual teacher, learn this lesson, please. Always pray because you don't know anybody. Pray. God, can I trust this? Do you know? That I've had dreams of certain people on YouTube that are in divination. I've had dreams about them too. Because I go to God, I know because when you're on it, you get a lot of opposition, a lot of haters attempting to defame you. And I'm like, God, is this person trustworthy? I'm going to keep asking you until you tell me. Until I gained the insight that Was necessary. In the area of development. And then my guides told me. You know how to read. Be the master of your own mind. Because when others are reading for you. Pay attention to the energy that they're in. Energy is energetic. I mean, energy is contagious. So, if they are in a negative energy, and every time... You watch them 
it triggers you, you need to meditate on that. So as I said, my guides instructed me to subtract. The amount of time that I spend online. This is in relation to all of social media. And I don't even want to tell you how I'm being coached. Just know my coach does not play. Ciao. <laughs> it's more to this than what you think. If you're off focus, confirmation. If you're off focus, you will get intervention. That calls your attention. You need to get on this. You need to do this. You need to wake up. It's not what you think. <sighs> Too much is given. Much is expected. I don't even consider myself average because I don't live an average life. My life is very disciplined. Mm. I must meditate every day. Let me tell you the truth. I must. This is why I can't get stopped. Nobody can go in my way. And there's a reason why it came out that way. Go in my way. So someone wanted to take my place. No one can do that. God already shared. Only you can do what I... Sh only you can do what I am assigning you to do only you can do it so it doesn't matter if you sleep and wake up if it doesn't matter if you had those plans wake up but the benefit of this life is I can't be touched no way <laughs> I, I might as well tell you the truth I can't be touched, no way, in any department, in any house of my life. That was the, uh, the, the I want to choose the words correctly. That was the initial Contract. I will use the word contract. Because the angels notified me. I didn't know it. I did not know it. They notified me. That there were those that were trying to kill me. I was so disappointed because I never thought in my life that someone would want to murder me. This is not what you expect. Meanwhile, you mind your business. You don't look for trouble. Kill me? For what? But they also told me If 
You decide because it was a choice. Straight up. I didn't have to say yes. It was a choice. If you decide. And I shared this, I believe, since... I want to say 2021. I am positive I shared that revelation by that time. 2021. And I shared... That the message that was given to me is if you fulfill your soul's purpose, you do what you're asked to do. If you are committed, this is, understand there's not one foot in, one foot out. I want you to understand. I want you to understand there's no way out. You know how when you get in certain groups, you can't get out. Oh, it was like that. Yes, it was. And it wasn't no coven or anything. It wasn't no part of a secret society. I'm a humbly say. Yeah, I'm a humbly say it. Because this is something I, I don't say too often. Because... I don't go around sharing or disclosing everything that has to do with my spiritual life. I share what is necessary for you to know. Because some things you won't understand. Because you would have to understand a manner of decoding so you wouldn't understand it even if I tried to explain it to you. You are one of us. I received confirmation a folder in the dream a very big folder and the angel came to me in my room light so much light like you have to just squint because you cannot even it's too much to absorb in the white robe and gave me that that folder and I want to tell you this is why I mentioned before how that I know how powerful they can be and I'm sure he didn't use all his power because it's not like we we had issues or he was coming for me he was just delivering a message but as a you know I am having a physical experience okay yes I'm a spiritual being but I'm having a physical experience so when I saw him in my dream I was overwhelmed. That's the right word. Because what is this? And people, I could not move. <laughs> there was a force. It's like I was molded in. <laughs> Molded in like a sandwich. I could not move. And he handed over the papers. Oh. 
Oh God. This makes me emotional. I remember he said. These are the people in the hospital. And now it's connecting to another dream I had where I was walking in the hospital and I was looking at rooms. And people were sick in all of the rooms. And I was guided to go in a conference room and people were sitting at the round table and they all giving me files. Oh, this person is sick this way. This person is sick this way. This person is sick this way. And I received all of the files. I just got a download. That's why I, po I paused for a minute. I was just told that those files were Akashic records. This means a lot. And it helps me understand a lot. You see, sometimes you have a dream, you think you interpreted it, it already, but when you dive deeper into it you are awakened to the messages that were not yet revealed all this to say I'm not here to compete with anybody I'm not here confirmation. I'm not here to devise anybody, but I am here to release the messages that I was instructed to release. I am here to assist you, to, to teach you how to heal yourself. I am here to reinforce that you can't get out of doing your shadow work. I am here to emphasize every action has a reaction I'm also here to disclose that the energy of love is what gives you freedom Know that I am having a physical experience. That means I can get hurt too. But the good thing about it is I don't have to do anything about it besides pray, acknowledge I was hurt. All right? Call judgment. All right? See, I'm advised just to stick on what I'm doing because they got confirmation. They got everything else. Anybody wants to come, they ready. Yeah, they ready for that. This is the time. This is the season. This is the end. Of low vibrational 
kingdoms, low vibrational empires. This is the victory of the spiritual confirmation warfare. And I have no fear. Whatever message I have to release, yo, I'm not for everyone. So please understand. If you're not ready. Go pray about it. Because I am always in the presence of the Ace of Swords. Let me tell you a little something about myself. Like a lot of you, I was educated too. I understand that there is an approach called politically correct. There is also an approach called politics, all right? In delivery, in the area of communication. In the area of interaction with others. I'm aware of that. But God doesn't care about that. Can I tell you the truth? Let, let me tell you the truth. Because some of y'all don't understand. God doesn't care about that. I'm not here. To tell you. You good. Everything you do is good. You don't have to change nothing about yourself. You're innocent. I'm not here for... There are channels for that, by the way. There are channels for that. I was just interrupted by something meaningless. Right? It's not that the individual was meaningless, but <laughs> the commentary was meaningless. It wasn't anything important. And everything that occurs, I analyze. It was a a dis. Eruption. Some of you are in the energy of causing disruption. As a matter of fact, I was told that one of the reasons. That your persecutors want to disrupt you is because they want you off task. Let me tell you people, especially my sacred soul tribe. I love you. No doubt. But a lot is demanded of us. I'm not telling you not to get on your phones. I'm telling you it benefits you. Con confirmation. It benefits you when you disconnect. I'm not telling you to be a hermit either. But I'm telling you if you want to continue to ascend. And you allow yourself to dive into programming that is repeated every day the same message same message same message same message same message can we wake up 
same message. Today's title is Time Waits for No One. So you need to get on it. You need to learn the things that they, when I say they, your spirit guides, your angels, God, whomever. You need to get on it. If it's something they're telling you to read, let me tell you something else. If there's something that you feel you cannot do, I just can't do that. <laughs> Yeah, no, I heard I heard you. You said you want me to do that, but I can't do it. I want you to know you can say, I want to be in compliance. So I want you to help me. Give me what I need to do whatever you're requesting for me. You don't ever have to be in a situation where you feel like it's a mission impossible and then you stuck. It's never like that. Trust and believe that help is unlimited. And you could keep asking for the same things. In fact, there are times I say, thank you for your patience. Because <laughs> it's like, explain again, confirmation again, what you said again. Remind me again, you know, I'm having a physical experience, right? This is a journey to a righteous path. And there's more revelation regarding that because I'm a pioneer but I'm told it will be revealed at a later time some messages I will not be releasing to you because they will come to you a lot of you are gifted as well It's best to use your gifts righteously because you collect karmic debt. It's a process. In healing, some of you are so detached with tenderness and so it's required for me to mirror you. That is the only way for you to get a spark of dark night of the soul and be faced with your shadow work. I'm doing my part. And when I say I'm doing my part, it's not me connecting with you. That's not what I'm referring to. I'm working on myself. Because this job requires that I have to practice what I preach. And so when I'm telling you to go inside and ask why, ask why, ask why, ask why, I have to do that too. To find the root of what's going on and enter the door of healing. Yes, my life is very structured. I understand that. But I wouldn't have it any other way. 
I'm telling you. There's no... There's no way I would want to go backwards. My question would be, to what? That was surviving. Today, I am balance. Balance is the fruit of the universe. In balance, the universe. Anything I need from the universe is already mine. So why would I want to forfeit that? For who? For what? For where? How? Forfeit this honor? This privilege, this fulfillment, I would never go back. That was my past life. And all my experiences are buried. My past life experiences are buried. What you are witnessing is my new life. You know why? It was earned. I had to do the work. I didn't have the opportunity to cheat because no one would even tell me <laughs> even what they were aware of. They kept it all to themselves. So I was on my own. My spiritual quest was inward. Where I heard the voice of God. Do you think it's easy? To wake up and to be told you have to change this about your lifestyle. You have to change this about. If you want to raise your vibration, you have to do this. You have to listen. You're in spiritual warfare. You got to do this. You got. You think that's easy? Honey, that's work. That's given me the confidence that any habit that I need to release has already been released. I feel so powerful when it comes to release. When it comes to cutting cords. Cutting cords is not only with people. Sometimes it has to be, it, it, it can be something like I'm trying to explore. Maybe your diet. Maybe what you do on the internet. If it's low vibrational or if it wastes too much of your time, spending your money fiviously, yeah, I had to learn about conscious consum consumerism.
where you budget and you interact with ethical businesses because that's the energy they produce in their products. A lot of you out there, you hear somebody say, I have I have um herbs for Yoni's. I don't even know what I have herbs for Yoni see I'm having an issue saying that. And there's a reason for that. They don't want that, <laughs> that message. They don't want that message out there. But some of you are willing to make purchases. I don't even know why I'm being asked to say this. But I'm saying it because I'm being led to say this. You should not be purchasing, especially herbs for yoni steams from just anybody. Let, let me tell y'all something. First of all, I just got a angel message. I don't play that. Uh-uh. I don't play that. But let me see the angel message. Jesus and God are leading you through the changes that you are facing. Trust them with all of your heart and never doubt your own innate wisdom. All right. And what I'm sharing with you right now is wisdom. Be selective on any herbs, any oils, any candles. Yo, is that person right? Child, some of you are purchasing those waist beads. And you don't even know. The incanta incantations that were said on them. Before they were delivered to you. And notice all the throat chakra manipulation. Confirmation. They don't want me to say this, but I have to say what I'm being asked to say. Buy a book, y'all. There are plenty of books out there that tell you what oils alleviate whatever type of issue that you are facing and there are books on herbs and all it takes is your word in prayer God I need to use this because I need to heal myself in this area I believe in you and I trust in you and I'm asking you to infuse your healing on these herbs infuse your healing on this oil. Another ritual you can do. If you are feeling troubled. Right? Or overwhelmed or stressed. Learn to utilize olive oil. I don't do without it. Learn to anoint yourself. Reclaim your power. God, I'm stressing and I know that's not my energy. Meanwhile, your, your palm is on your forehead. Or on your crown. God, my knees are hurting me. I'm anointing myself in your name. I'm asking for healing. I receive healing. While you 
utilize what your medical doctors are guiding you to do. You are your first doctor. I want you to know that. There's never time I go to the doctor with a question that I haven't already researched. So I can have my own input. So we can devise whatever treatment. I love many different things when it is in relation to wellness that is in addition to ways I maintain a healthy lifestyle. But whatever it is, I notify him. You think this is okay? Yeah, I have a spiritual team. I know that. But I also know as above, so below. And that's why he's there. That's why I have optimum health. Because I doctor myself too. The problem with a lot of people is the fact that they gave away their power. I don't know when you gave it away, but you need to go in deep meditation. When did you give away your power? This needs your attention. When did you give away your power? When you experience certain traumas in your life, parts of you lose parts of your soul. So I would behoove you to learn about soul retrieval. There are many different therapeutic activities that you can engage in. Reclaiming your power. Reclaiming your destiny. Reclaiming your energy. Yes, I experienced that. And I'm going to leave it there. It's a fact. I experienced that. And I'm going to leave it there. And you visualize you walk away. You leave it behind. Just like that. And if you have to repeat this over and over, follow your intuition. Cut cords, yo. There's not a day, yo. And it's not even one time. Several times a day I cut cords. I don't play. If I don't want you in my energy, you try me. You see what's up. And I'm saying that with no hesitation. You'll see what's up. Those of you that want energy harvest, you'll see what's up. Because there are ways that you can speak over your life, right? That anybody that disrespects this boundary, any thieves, that want to get any that want to get in my energy any parasites that want to get in my energy 
Y'all ready for this? Gets exterminated. And you know what? That's karma free. You know why? Tell me why. Because you are protecting yourself. You are allowed to protect. That's why I keep telling you word is power. Speak over your life. Speak over your children. Speak over your finances. Speak over your relationships. Speak. And I pray for you that you have a partner. That is in agreement with you. And that is doing that too. Time waits for no one. My focus attracts possessive. Wow. Listen, you hear all of that um throat chakra manipulation? They don't want you to know that my focus attracts progressive change. I'm going to say it again. In your face. In your space. My focus attracts progressive change, renewal, and growth. I am safe. I am safe. I am safe. My wishes are coming true. My wishes are coming true. My wishes are coming true. I speak the truth. I speak the truth. I speak the truth. I open myself to deep self-love. I have the strength to follow my heart. I feel my own power. I feel my own power. I feel my own power. I express my emotions. I nurture my spirit. I follow my intuition. I see clearly. Okay? Because they don't want you to see clearly. Because that's when you'll be in the energy of clarity. And make the right decisions. For your free spirit. Those of you that are bonded. And I was going to say binded. So there's a message there for somebody. Oh, okay. It was revealed to me that some connections that you are in, some relationships that you are in, you're not even aware if that feminine energy or if that masculine energy is married. Let, let me help y'all understand what I said. There are different levels. There are different levels to marriage, okay? You can be married to a, your, your partner. You can be married to a secret society. Yo! You can be married to... I believe they call it spiritual husband or spiritual wife. You need to begin to pray and ask God for clarity about the people in your circles. Because if you marry an individual that's married to a secret society, that is where his allegiance is. And if you do not comply with their rituals, there's a confrontation that could have been avoided. See, my experiences teach me 
what needs to be examined before I proceed. I'm not telling you not to marry someone in a secret society. That's your business. I'm not telling you not to marry somebody that has a spiritual husband or a spiritual wife. That's your business. That's not my business. My business is putting myself in check. All right? Putting structure into my life. This is what you can do. This is what you won't do. Period. Self-respect. No compromise. I nurture my spirit. I follow my intuition. I see clearly all is well. I am at peace. I honor my desires. I feel abundance around me. I feel abundance around me. I feel abundance around me. Wealth can't resist me. Wealth can't resist me. Wealth can't resist me. Wealth is within my reach. I know that wealth is within my reach. I love myself unconditionally. I shade. So let me see. I'm going to give you some messages. Unconventionality. Your unique qualities are on are an important part of your life purpose. It's okay to feel and be different from others. I know I'm different from others. You may want to use the stone Moldavite if you're in that energy. Okay? Purification and detox detoxification. It's time to release physical and energetic toxins from your life. I'm hearing do the work. Spiritual protection. You are being watched over and protected physically, emotionally, and energetically. You might want to use the stone. I've never heard of this stone before, but it's called Charolite. And the previous stone, when I mentioned purification, it said garnet. And for the last one, Angelite. And it says spiritual or religious community. Join with like-minded people for friendship and increased spiritual wisdom and growth. And that is why God and the angels of manifestation awakened me to my sacred soul tribe. Not everyone could be part of it. We know that. Because those in your energy have to be have to be correct. In alignment with God's divine plan for your life. So, 
under unconvention unconvention <laughs> unconventionality I'm gonna get this right I rebuke the throat chakra manipulation in Jesus name unconventionality 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 you can rebuke any attack never allow it to defeat you because those energies are subordinate I allow myself to be content exactly as I am. And that's why I don't join cliques. Yes, I have a sacred soul tribe, but in the energy of a mission. All right. Let's keep it together. Let's get it together. This is a mission. This is for God. This is for the awakening. Resolving anger. That's under purification and detoxification. It could be done, people. Like I said earlier, all you have to do is recognize and accept people for who and what they are. If someone is a liar, accept that's what liars do. If someone can't understand you, when you communicate with them, it's like you're speaking English and they're speaking Spanish. You're both speaking the same language, but you can't meet. You can't mesh. It doesn't work. Conflict reminds me when I need more space for myself. Exactly. I'm going to admit this. All right. Like I said, I'm transparent. Take it or leave it. <laughs> I don't necessarily think this is a bad thing, but if you come in the wrong energy, you straight up get blocked. Like, I'm not going to even... Because I'm like, I'm not going to argue with no one. Right? That's my decision. I'm not going to allow anybody to disrespect me. Anybody to call me out my name. Especially after what I've already been through. Ninja, try it. I made it clear. To my spiritual support team, I don't need any foolery. Any explanations. You did what you did because you did it. Period. You just did it. Period. It's done. Because I'm going to maintain what I choose for myself. And that is not to be in anger. Like, if anybody would have approached me in the sense of explanation why I backstabbed you, why I um, sacrificed you, or whatever, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't have time for that. Okay. The light is always within me. Reverse. Anchoring the light. That's reverse. So we have to check ourselves. Check our temperature. 
And in order for us to maintain the light inside of us, we have to make sure that it is coming from within and that we are in environments that amplify the light. Because let me tell you, energy is very powerful. Let me explain something to you. You could live in a house and the people in the house are low vibrational. No matter how much you seclude yourself in your room, that energy is in the air. It affects you. Whether the person is depressed, you know, the person is miserable. The per Some people, oh my God, just the sound of their name. It's like, you ready to feel drained. Because you were called to be happy and free. That's why there is not an energetic pull. That's why God is demanding change. Do you want to live? Okay, if you want to live, you got to check yourself. That's all I'm going to say. There is no problem. Only destiny being revealed. Alright, and that comes with spiritual or religious community welcoming surrender I understand let me read this second card because it came with it more gets accomplished when everyone has a role to play creating cooperation so in my case there was no cooperation because there was deceit. No, I want to see. You ugly. I'm better than you. You Haitian. You poor. You slow. You crazy. You a prostitute. And so much more. And when you get those flashbacks. I rebuke you in Jesus name. I rebuke you in Jesus name. I rebuke you in Jesus name. I define myself I am what God says I am nothing more and nothing less your opinion is irrelevant those are ways you can heal yourself and I also want to mention Something about the art of war, right? If you are in a battle, right? And you use all your best weapons. <laughs> you use all your best weapons in the beginning. Straight up, right? You use weapons for no reason, right? There comes a point. Ain't no more weapons. Ain't no more bullets. Ain't no more insults. You already did it. So guess what? You empowered your opponent. 
You said everything that you could have said. All false and all irrelevant. And the only people that repeat things over and over and expect a different result are in the energy of insanity. So you're speaking for yourself. I don't have time to play these games, y'all. I'm grown. Some of you don't know how old you are. All right? I really know how old I am. I really do. Confirmation. Answered prayers. All your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support. Give it to God. Take a deep breath. And on the exhale, release this situation to God exactly for healthy healing answers. Life-changing epiphany or experience. It's... This thing is very light. These are not my favorite cards here. It's a time of big blessed change for you. And God is supporting you each step of the way. That's in a very important message. But like I said, the print is very light. It's, it's not the best in quality. But the message is positive life changing epiphany or experience okay i just got a sign something needs to be said you are being guided to connect with your center take time to be honest and patient with yourself this is a time for recuperation exactly you have to understand when You've experienced trauma. You need to be gentle on yourself. Ain't no time for others saying, I feel this way. I, no, this is your time. This is your season to chill out. This is your season to reclaim your joy, your peace, your happiness, your freedom. This is your life. And I heard a confirmation outside. I don't know why, but someone just clapped. <laughs> this is your life, all right? Stop letting people play with you. Ask, just tell them, go get a friend. You'll be all right. Go get a friend. Go make a friend. Tell them, you don't got time today. Not today. Period. Child, I'm not going to let anybody take my joy. Nah. You're going to stay defeated. No matter what. And you can stalk. Because every time you stalk. You'll connect. With the energy of defeat. That's your karma. Watch and pray. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> I just said that when you stuck, that is your karma. And every time you stuck, that is connecting to the energy of defeat. Because you you're going to see every effort that you made to take me down. Was for nothing. You know what you've attracted in your life right now? Regret. 
And those of you that are fronting, no, I'm not. I, I'm not in, feeling any type of regret. Guess what? Subconsciously, it's in there. You want to bet? I said it's in there. When you know the person didn't do nothing to you, right? But kill, 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 right? Or what Hillary been through. Send her to jail. Send her to jail. Send her to jail. Remember those chants? Those politics? I was already elected and they wanted me to com compete. But God was he made me smile earlier because I don't know where that came from. It's something I did when I was in the fourth grade. I can't believe I still have it. It is a flyer. <laughs> it is a flyer, right? And it said, vote for grace. And I cut out my picture when I was 10 and I glued it on the flyer. It was a project for school. I glued it on the construction paper. And so I was able to see my handwriting when I was 10 years old. That's so precious to me. Those are the things that matter to me. I'm very sentimental. Even in disconnection, sometimes I hold on to something for so long. Even when it's over. It's over. It's really over. Yeah, it's over. I could share with you gifts that I received, like clothes. and I never released them. Like from my exes. And then when I got married. I released everything. I even released. A t-shirt. That I had. That said soulmates. And my picture was on it. And then my son's dad was on it. We got it in New Jersey. On vacation. I threw that away because I said, you're married now. You got to disconnect from all of that. And the person I mentioned the other day, that was Yoruba. He bought me a lot of things from Africa because I like souvenirs from Nigeria. There's a robe I used to like to wear. It's it's beautiful. You won't find it here. I threw it away too. Yeah. Because when I'm for real, I'm for real. If I'm not in a relationship, I could be like, well, I could hold on. I could hold on to the memories. Not that I'm going to be sweating the person or anything. Life goes on. But I remember the time. When we fell in love, you know? So, yeah, that's my truth. I released the rings that I had, pawned them. I deleted their numbers from my phone. In fact, I informed them that I'm married now. This is how you show respect and responsibility in a relationship that you are committed to. Do I regret that I threw away that t-shirt or that I threw away that robe or, you know, whatever? 
No. Because God taught me in that cycle that you are to release what no longer serves you. What's the point of me wearing a t-shirt that says soulmates when we're not together anymore? Yeah, we was cool, but straight up platonic. So what's the use of the t-shirt? Trashed it. And I'm free of it. I'm free of the energy that it carried. Child, I remember. I remember. I'm, I'm telling y'all secrets now. So shh, don't tell nobody. <laughs> I remember I used to love his cologne. So I was like, give me that. Because when I wear it, I took a moment to just center myself. I'm going to feel your energy. That's how sentimental I am. I paused for a moment to be in my emotions because that's healthy to process. But I had a vision. And I saw a boot. That means I have to release the past and give them the boot. That's why God doesn't play about me. Because I have a pure spirit. I don't play games. It was funny attacking me. I know that. And y'all got your laughs. Ha ha. I just joined in. Ha ha. But I learned my lessons. And I graduated. I never have to repeat that cycle. And God told me. This will never happen again. Because you learned your lesson. Now you're going to expect good times. A trustworthy person. A responsible person. A loyal person. And that's what gives me smiles every day. Because I never knew a man like that could exist. Thank God for him. Confirmation. Watch and pray that you enter not into temptation and then the card under it says temptation so this is very serious because two sets of cards said temptation so I'm going to confirm doctor possessed so that's telling me the reason why it says watch and pray that you don't fall into temptation. And it says doctor, that means that person is ill in the physical. And then it says possess, that person is ill spiritually. STD, STD. 
See, some people, they don't take life seriously and they take risks. They take gambles and they get caught up. Yeah, it was fun to say, you know, she's boring. She doesn't do anything. But she's alive and she's healthy and she's happy. And she doesn't regret nothing. No, she doesn't. I'm happy to be alive. Because you could be dead walking. Watcher or guardian. Temptation. Yeah, again. They're watching you. And they want to bring a temptation in your life to get you off track because if you fall into that temptation you forfeit your miracles seek and you shall find and it says murdered Lord have mercy that's telling me if you come for the wrong person or if you came for the wrong person you seek the karma, right? <laughs> You're going to find that karma. Bet you. Love. What about love? What's love got to do Love, gestational period. Some of you are still healing and God is covering you and protecting you like you're in a cocoon. Yeah, you got wings, but you're in a cocoon because he's not going to allow anybody to touch you or play with you because he's ready. They saw it and now they are going to find. <laughs> All right. And and that also can be interpreted interpreted as you ask for protection and you get it. Okay. Some of your persecutors are experiencing sadness, wild. <laughs> They're feeling wild. Okay. Hmm. Sadness, have faith, help from above. That's funny. Um, let me tell you what's funny. What's funny is this card says wild, right? And the following card says sexual arts. And the woman is like in spirit. And the masculine is in flesh. No connection. We're not on the same timeline. It's just a memory. And what I am, I, I think... I told God, thank you for this because I'm being personal, but I don't care. I told God, <laughs> I, I really don't. Because they said everything you could say to somebody to make you go to a mental institution. Because that was the goal, to take me out by any means necessary. That's why I told Archangel Michael, I said, by any means necessary, I call judgment, right? 
And I'm going to say it out loud. I'm not going to hide and say it. What you going to do? Nothing. Because you can't. Because I'm in power. That part. So. Mm -mm. That slipped my memory. So whatever that was. My spirit guides don't want me to share it. And that's all good because I follow the guidance I'm receiving. There's a reason why they don't want me to share. Yeah. So. In regards to sexual arts. Right. Some of you, the reason why you are being attacked is because the energy that the individual felt. Oh, I remember. I remember. I remember. So I got clearance. Okay. Yo, how come it came back and it left again? That's, there's some type of interference here. Because that message would probably help somebody. So there's some type of interference because they're sending it to me. That memory and it slipped away again. It'll come back because it did. Yeah, they want energy from you because like if you're a positive person and you do your work. You know, your spiritual work I'm referring to, that's in alignment with your career and all that. Because you got to take a care of spirit first. So they drain you. Their toxicity drains you. So if you connect to them, you connect to their karma. And I experienced that. Wild hypothermia. Someone that's very cold. Wow, this card fell on the floor. <laughs> Sexual arts abandoned. When you walked away, they felt abandoned, so they tried to destroy your life. You know, I always ex expected a man to be a man, to express yourself, to say what you got to say, because I don't hesitate. I'm going to say what I'm going to say, but I'm understanding now some people are not brave enough and then they go into self-sabotage. That's the lesson that we're learning. I told you. Wise people learn from the experiences of others so you don't have to go through that ordeal. Oh, I remember when so-and-so had that experience and this happened. And I don't want to go through that. I've been there. Even friends of family members and I hear what they've been through. I'm like, I'm never going to do that because I don't want that kind of outcome or whatever. I pay attention. And that's one of the reasons why I don't usually find myself in any type of drama until I met the Judas. Never find myself in any type of drama. Because I don't look for it. I don't have time. Okay, the world. Gabriel. And Ace of Swords. Ten of Pentacles.
So yeah, it was time for a change, right? If you know anything about your houses, there's a part that of uh, that there's a part of your life. Well, you. Wow, look at this throat chakra. They don't want this out. <laughs> that's why I know I'm on point. And that's how you know I'm on point. They, um, yeah, if you know any, that, that's why you should get a book in regards to, yeah, like your birth chart and also your houses and all of that. Because I uncovered that there's a season in relation to Saturn where you deal with karma. It's scientific in my opinion. Because it could be math, math mathematically explained regarding your ups and downs there are people that are trained in that area and I'm going to take this break because I am tired of the interruptions I'm calling Archangel Michael I'm asking you to judge anybody that is targeting my community service. I'm going to actually speak in my truth. And I'm going to ask you, destroy my persecutors. I know you got me. And I know I got you. And I know you don't play. That's why I always say, your name. When I don't feel like playing. Archangel Gabriel. I want you to intervene. By any means necessary. And help me to get these messages across. We are forever connected confirmation because like you I am a messenger and you understand what it is to be doing effort in fulfilling your soul's purpose and being attacked just because you're advising the community to do better. You see these demons. You see these karmics on assignment. I'm asking you to destroy them. You've already destroyed what they thought they had a foundation. Meanwhile, they weren't on solid ground. They were on sinking sand. And now that the earth is swallowing them, I'm asking you to destroy them to the point of no return.
I will not allow anyone to take my opportunity to teach to bring interference. And I heard the confirmation outside. And I know I have God on my side. And like I said the other day, you could say any prayer you want to say, but in front of God, let me make this clear for you. Let me make you understand the power I'm in. In front of God, I'm judging you. I have the authority, in case you didn't know, to call judgment on everyone involved that is doing witchcraft on me or anything that I love, including my career, including my mission. Confirmation. I rebuke you all in Jesus name. You mean nothing to me. Get that straight. Yeah, that was deep. Get deep. Because the grave that you designed for me. Is the grave that's waiting for you. I'm just trying to do my work and y'all trying to interfere. One, because you can't do what I do. Two, because you wish you could. Three, because you are acknowledging the fact subconsciously, because I know you're still fronting. Sub subconsciously, you are acknowledging the fact that you lost. You've been defeated. I said you've been defeated. I already said you've been dethroned. I already said you've been decapitated. And I had three heads. I'm going to tell you straight up. I'm not here to front. I had three heads in my hand. In my dream. And I took each and every one and I threw it in the volcano. Yeah. But you got decapitated first. So you want to keep playing with me. You want to keep playing me? Do you. Keep, do you. Because I'm in my authority. You still have not comprehended who I am. Bet you. You are under my mercy. And I don't care who you go to, who you pray to, whatever, because I know the book of Enoch. Okay? I'm not here to play. I'm very versed at this. And because you can't express yourself like this, you don't have the vocabulary, you don't have the education, you don't have whatever it is. You want to fight about it. But the fight shouldn't be with me. The fight should be with God because he's the one that gave me my gifts. And this is why I understand you do have An intellectual deficiency. We'll go with that. I acknowledge that you do have it. That's why you keep doing what you do. I also acknowledge that does not exclude you from being judged. And I know you're feeling it in your life. You think I don't know? I know. But it's about time. Yeah, it's about time. Because y'all out of time. Y'all delayed this as much as you could. And I also know what's due to me. 
what was stolen from me. I call judgment on that too. The house that was stolen from me. I call judgment on that too. The finances that were destined for me. I call judgment on them stealing that too. By any means necessary. Yo, I'm calling all of the archangels. I'm calling all of my ancestors for my highest good. I'm calling all that spiritually assist me on my path. Yo, I'm giving you the green light. I'm giving you the green light to go in. And to get them in check. I'm giving you the green light. Because I know that y'all don't want me to get into it. But I'm telling you. I'm giving you the green light. Because I know y'all got me. I'm calling in. The gal galactic army. To handle those. That are out of order. To bring them to understanding. <laughs> the well. Reverse. That means whatever you thought you was going to. Whatever abundance you thought you was going to get from me. The devil's a lie. <laughs> All right. And that's that's under Ace of Swords. You wish you could. I'm telling you in your face. I'm telling you in your ears. I'm telling you. I'm a win. Again. And again. And again. Thank you Jesus that I'm on this team. <laughs> thank you Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. I love. I love. I love this alliance. I love this alliance. Y'all going to cry till forevermore. So everybody else that you want to recruit. Oh. They'll just be sharing your misery. Because I said everyone involved. All right. Those that you go to to attempt to spy on me. Those that you go to. Okay. Okay. I just got a download. Those that you go to to mess with my third eye. Oh. To all involved. I call judgment on all involved. Yeah. I'm in my right. Because y'all play too much. I keep telling you, you don't have a friend in me. Go find one. I'm not here to be your friend. I'm here to teach. Get over it. I never saw desperate people like that before. I got to tell you the truth. Disposed. Or loss of title. The world. Straight up. You know where you at. And you know it's because that you are whack. You are my footstool. Did I say it with enough authority? You are my footstool. You're going to get it. You're going to learn. <laughs> Plane crash. The seed. Because of your intentions in coming after me and coming to take my fortune. That's the seed, right? Plane crash. You thought you was going to fly with me, huh?
the only airline that you have available to you is going straight to hell. I'm telling you straight up. Archangel Gabriel, the moon. Achiever. He's always with me. And he informs me everything I need to know about your little secrets. Right? I know you can't try him. <laughs> Yo, try to stand up to him. See what's up. Y'all don't understand. I'm not fighting in the physical. I'm fighting in the spiritual, honey. I'm a soldier for life. The beloved blocked. <laughs> you tried to adopt me so you can abuse me. You blocked. Y'all heard it? You blocked. And what? What's next? What you gonna do? What you think you could do? Nothing. If you had just stayed in your lane and not tried to interfere with the wisdom that I am trying to share with the community so they don't follow your footsteps because you failed them. Can we put it all, out on can we put all out on the table? Ace of Swords. God above all names elevated. Hmm. Sexual. Oh, wow. Okay. Ace of Swords. And then sexual. And then underneath it, it says the well reversed. There will never ever. Let me explain that. And now I remember. That's why they didn't let me say it before. Because it's, 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 it's um very much connected to what I'm about to say. Because I will never, ever, 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 infinity forever, ever, ever, have any interaction with you. Whatever means. Meaning. No, we can't date. We can't have coffee. We can't have small talk. We can't meet up. And sure enough, we'll never see each other's bedrooms. You feel me? I'm happy where I am. I'm healthy where I am. I have longevity where I am. Please understand. Made your choice now, you live with it. So, follower. So, the well follower, you following me because you need. <laughs> I'm laughing, my guide's talking about you need juice. <laughs> Yo, Ten of Pentacles, activist, stand up, stand up. Stand up for your rights. That's what I'm hearing. We're going to take it all down. We're going to burn down the houses in the spiritual. And they get decapitated in the spiritual. Innkeeper. The sorrow.
But the sorrow was reversed. Well, I know that I'm in reverse sorrow. I know I'm happy. I know I'm an activist. Oh, innkeeper, you thought you could you thought you stole my house, right? But I'm the innkeeper. I'm the one that got you, got all of y'all in check. I was called to do that. That's my job, yo. You didn't know that? You didn't know that I am here to put you in check? Go and ask God. See what he says. I'm telling you. Go and ask God. Is grace here to keep me in check? Bet. Bet. You're going to see I'm already set for life. Yeah. Y'all want to keep playing? When I'm trying to be in the energy of peace and progress and stuff. And y'all want to keep playing. So, And the fact of the matter is because you made an oath, all of you are connected together. So if one of you stuck on stupid, all of you get that type of judgment. Because you connected, you made an oath. That was smart. <laughs> and that was also easy. Because now... It makes my load lighter. Right? Mad for what? Let me get a quick meditation because I'm not going to let you mess up the program here. So I got a couple cards and I don't like to omit any of the cards. That's just how I am. But I'm going to read just what I can read because it's a lot. God, where's the first one I had though? Let me do it again because I want one card because I want to be in truth and in integrity. Just one, please. Our Lady of Love. Pray to Our Lady for the release of hate. And fear within yourself and within our world. Such prayer unleashes her beautiful will. Pray that is your role. Pray that is your role. So while you aren't out here being karmic warriors, you should be prayer warriors. Act on what comes to you through the heart in prayer there is no limit to the love that you can flow through flow through you you will never be depleted by it only expanded actively conspire with her so that all hearts may know peace exactly when I'm here, just trying to do my job, just stay in your lane. Because that's all you got to get to peace. I'm going to tell you right now. Because I'm here to slay. And I'm going to stop and slay you every time. Call judgment again and again and again and again. Infinity. Keep playing. When it's too much for you, it spreads. Family, friends, whatever.
He playing with me. I'm being sarcastic. For those in remedial. God made the prototypes and generational curse breakers family. That is why I'm in my power. Okay? I broke generational curses. We are stronger and empowered together. We love those who are aligned with our highest good. We learn how to forgive, firstly, ourselves for not seeing who you were at the get. But now we know. Then each other. We observe God's appointed restrictions and detach from imbalanced cycles that are, that are not divinely aligned with our highest good. We process God's wisdom together. Together, we are committed to do our shadow work. Together, we recommit our eyes to watching God. Together, we heal, grow, and evolve. These are our hopes. And we align with God and manifest them to be. And so it is. I also want to read My spiritual children are precious gifts from God destined for a higher place We believe in universal law We believe life is a journey While on this journey we go to school we take classes we learn lessons and Take tests in different seasons. We are designated to a variety of opportunities to embark on different roles as a teacher or a student. We believe in the freedom of thought, freedom of speech, and free will in the spirit of integrity and love. We believe in liberating ourselves from the conviction of self-love because that will spring our souls from the prison of self-sabotage. We aren't afraid of the journey to enlightenment or divinely guided opportunities. We believe in the reclamation of our inherited energies. Creativity, inventions, abundance, prosperity, fulfillment of wishes, anointing, soul purpose, contracts, families, protection, coverage, defense, talents, gifts, networks, connections, favor, assignments, legacies, all known and unknown factors of our destinies from these thieves. In alignment with our free will, our highest good, and our divine contracts, past, present, future, in all realms, in all dimensions, in all space and time. We know that God is here. We are open to a state of awareness of our true nature, our higher self, and our birthright as children of God authentically and unapologetically. There's a great deal of love around me. I feel it. And I love it. I am love. I enjoy and cherish this love. I am receptive, appreciative, and grateful for all that comes to me through God's love. I am one with my higher power. Wow. I am one with my higher self, but I said higher power. So I'm in my power. Love is to know no fear. The light of God fills me. 
Divine consciousness guides me. Abundant blessings of the universe flow into my life. Raise the vibration and shine your light. Together, we will expand our territory by transcending darkness into light and therefore experiencing ascension. Honor God. Honor yourself. Honor your angelic teams. Honor your supportive ancestors and all multi-dimensional allies, all realms and dimensions, past, present, future, in all space and time. In the eyes of God, I am who I am in the eyes of God. Nothing more and certainly nothing less. Let, let me repeat that for some of y'all that that needs some type of assistance. Because your opinion doesn't matter. You got that straight? Your opinion doesn't matter. Your vote does not matter. I'm already elected. And so it is. I am who I am in the eyes of God. Nothing more and nothing less. My divinely guided Fellow travelers, continue to roam in infinite power. Grace upon grace is God's will for my life. And I embrace it, honey. Every bit of it. All that grace. Grace on a journey. What you talking about? I'm not thief on a journey. I'm not liar on a journey. I'm not low vibration on a journey. I'm here in the energy of positivity and nothing and no one will get in my way by any means necessary. If y'all can't handle yourselves, oh, you might end up hurting yourselves. Okay. Again, if you can't handle yourselves, you might end up hurting yourselves because I already see it I already see it and I already see no matter what you do <laughs> I'm going to get what's mine because I already had the um prophecy I'm going to get what's mine in your face and you could try to do something about it but it won't put you in the energy of grace. Because you already have to pay. And to those that I love, my sacred soul, tribe, know that I love you. Know that I pray for you. Seriously, I pray for you. For God to cover you from these monsters. Know that you Someone is thinking about you. All right. Some of you think nobody thinks about you. Someone is thinking about you. I am thinking about you. And please disregard. The interruptions. 